By increasing the penalties for leaving the scene of a boating accident, this new law will help prevent this type of accident that tragically struck our family almost six years ago. My husband loved boating and he loved the Jersey Shore. He would have strongly supported a bill such as this, a law that increases the penalties of leaving a boat in distress. Now having a consequence for this action will hopefully prevent an accident happening or potentially decrease the severity of the accident. We all still miss Bob greatly, but this really is the silver lining of a tragedy. And we all hope this law will prevent this from happening to another family in the near future. Thank you all so much and happy 4th of July weekend. Thank you all for that. And, and now I want to introduce Colonel Edward Setnar of the New Jersey State Police for some remarks regarding this topic as well. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Post and the governor of the legislature for making this happen and another tool in the toolbox for the state police. As everyone knows, there's about over 160,000 vessels that are registered in the state of New Jersey. And of that, sometimes when we have fatal accidents, 70% of those accidents result, excuse me, Of those accidents, 70% of the fatals result in drownings. Of that, 90% of the folks that unfortunately drowned were not wearing protective life preservers. So our message is simple as we start this boating season. As the governor said, we wish everybody to come to the Jersey Shore, the waterways throughout the state of New Jersey, enjoys themselves, and get home safe. And we highly encourage everyone, please, if you're going out on the boat, as many folks that you do have on the boat, have life preservers there, and make sure your folks are wearing them because we don't want any more tragedies in the waterways and we're trying to mitigate and prevent as many tragedies as we can. So please share that message with us and hopefully everybody will arrive on safe this holiday weekend and this season. Thank you. And, uh, last but certainly not least, I want to thank uh, Raymond Martinez, a uh, member of my cabinet, head of the Motor Vehicle Commission. Uh, Ray has been with me now for four and a half years. He does an outstanding job the MVC, this is part of his purview as well, and Ray's contribution to making sure that this law is enforced along with the state police in a way that helps to increase the safety that we have on the waterways will be another indispensable part of this. So Ray, thank you for your hard work and thank you for being here today as well. So everybody, it's 4th of July weekend. Uh, I, this was passes for work for me when you're governor. Uh, Fourth of July weekend in New Jersey. I, I get lots of pictures that'll go across the AP wires. I'm headed to the boardwalk in Point Pleasant now to work. Um, and, um, and I work as hard as I can over there. Now, um, what happens is though, when this happens, I, I go around and there's lots of really enthusiastic, both residents of New Jersey and visitors to New Jersey who want to come up to the boardwalk from the beach. They want to take pictures with me. And of course I need to accommodate because that's my job. And when those pictures come, especially when a lot of those pictures come of people who are having fun on the beach, they get sent all over the country, and I get other governors who, in 